are a week later from the past video I did where I was sitting on the floor. The, the TV is now mounted on the wall where it should be. Um, it looks great. I'll tell you as far as the sound goes, because it's against the wall, it makes a big difference in sound. So the sound, the TV sound is, is quite good, uh, it's, but it's, it's hooked up to my home theater system and that makes it even better. Th this video here, I'm just going to be replying to some comments. I'll just go down the list and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the name because it's public knowledge anyway, right? So, so the first one is uh, Nate Johnson. Um, and Nate Johnson says, that doesn't look like a 65 inch, your TV looks way too small for a 65 inch. Well, it is a 65 inch, but I'm glad you brought that up because it brings to mind how they measure what a 65 inch or whatever, however many inches it is. You'd think they go this way, right? But they don't. They go diagonally from up there to down here. And uh, so we have here, and that, my sketchy little, uh, there we are. So that, that's like 65 inches. It's a little shorter than 65 inches, because that's the way they, they go. But slightly, 65 inches. Yes, Nate, it is 65 inches. And that was fun, wasn't it? Okay, so the next, next we have Shemar or Shamar Lawrence says, great selection, 950G is a beast. With that being said, the Z9F is recently on sale and is a good price. In exchange, he says, exchange the 950G for the Z9F Master Series. Well, I'd love to, but it's way too much money. So, you know, if you can afford it, by all means. They're, these TVs are all on sale right now for uh, Black Friday, but that one I haven't seen at Best Buy. Uh, and Nuts Clark, I guess that is what it is, says in reply to Shamar Lawrence's uh, thing, he says, must be nice to be able to drop $17.99 on display. I'd have to sh skip many meals to pay the Z9 off, the Z9F off. <laughs> Honestly though, the X950 is stunning and still makes me say wow when viewing content. And, you know, it's, it's, it is, I, I think it's, it's pretty nice, so. And by the way, we have Lost in Space on here. Good family-friendly content behind me, I, you know, so nobody's going to get offended, right? So Kim Sneed Hansen says, uh, Hi, you won't regret it. I have had mine since OK OKT, which I assume is October 2019. And I've had an OLED LG B655 inch before, and it was like two years in hell. The screen was replaced three times because of burn-in. It took me three months to finally buy my XG95 Europe Denmark. Uh, no OLED for me ever again. But they're a lot of money, and with a problem like that, yeah, so. And then uh, Eddie says, I'm just like you. I spent hours watching reviews. I swapped out the Vizio, Vizio P Quantum series for the Sony 950G. The Vizio, although, although it produced great darks, the operating system OS was really buggy and slow. Uh, it was annoying to wait for the TV to do simple tasks. The Sony 950G was worth the extra cash. The OS is so quick and I was amazed at the picture quality and today I received an update, update from Apple AirPlay support. Good, nice, good to hear. Uh, Good, makes me feel good anyway. <laughs> um, and Nuts Clark, after you spent $13.99, you should really have fuzzy during motion. Most X950G owners actually boast about the motion. Did you lose the pan in the panel lottery? Well, I paid a lot more than $13.99 for this TV. And when I was talking about the fuzz, it was because I was probably sitting right this close to the TV and it was on Vivid, so the, everything was very cutty. But you can you, you can uh, adjust um, you can adjust a lot of these things. You know, when when you get into it, you can adjust um, display and sound, picture, picture mode, uh, brightness, color, advanced settings, and we have here the, the motion. It's, it 
says you can uh, you can adjust these things, but I've heard multiple videos that say you're best to leave it with the factory settings, unless you're some kind of an expert. Because if you when you change things like this, apparently it causes different other problems. So anyway, it's all adjustable here. I just took it out of the box and it was sitting on the floor. I was just sort of looking at it real quick for a couple of days before I did uh, anything. And by the way, this TV's dropped a hundred bucks for Boxing Day. So the sale price is even lower, so. Uh, Camper83 says, awesome, honest opinion. I'm getting the same TV next month. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my choice, so I hope you will be too. And John Yanotka, says uh, great video new 75 inch owner here well lucky you <laughs> that's that must be awesome uh this is a replacement for my third 940d that had a bad panel so wow that that this in 75 inches wow that's that's that would that's like oh I, I wanted to get a 75 inch it would have stuck out like this far on either side it's 75 inches is huge but I calmed down and I got 65 inches. And S. Medina says, I would never have that TV on vivid mode to cinema and maybe watch some YouTube setting videos and all that stuff you're talking about will go away. You're going to want to change a lot of stuff out of the box. You're right, I, I agree with you. There's a lot of settings that could be changed here and I'm, I'm reluctant to change anything because I might, I might mess it up, right, so. And S. Medina also says, you can jailbreak that TV I was talking about, the Android doesn't have uh, Apple TV on it. He says, you can jailbreak, you can jailbreak that TV and play anything you want on it, LOL. That's the best thing about Android. Probably, that's probably true, because anything Apple is like, you want you do anything here, so. Okay, and Blue Moth says, great choice. The Sunny 950G is the best all-around TV. Android is Google, they developed the OS. And Sony's natural color accuracies is second to none. Enjoy. I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so far, thank you. Uh, Espadina again, uh, all you have to do is buy your OLED at Best Buy and get the warranty. And you don't have to worry about burning if you take care of your TV. I've had mine for three weeks with no signs of anything. Yeah, you can do that, but I, I can't afford I can't afford the the OLED. I really would have I would have bought it, but and Craigslu Craigslu says if you want better blacks, you need to set the local dimming to high. It is set at medium out of the box. Vivid is too bright and too blue. Uh, I had to return my 65 due to a screen defect in the lower left corner. Well, I haven't got that problem yet. Hopefully I will never will. Um, replacement on the way, crap signal in, crap picture out. This TV will do about as good as any 4K TV will do with lower quality content. Which is, it, when it gets lower quality content, it tends to uh, try and make it better somehow. I don't know, the magic of whatever the hell is inside there, so. And Gary Robinson says to Craig Stu, I've got my Sony. Set 9F local dimming set to medium for all content. It looks great. I found that high crush, that the high the high setting I guess crushed some details in dark areas, and medium is a good compromise for me. And Craig's do says back to Gary Robbins says that's fine, but he has the 950G as I did and will again in a matter of days. And Craig's do I just returned my second 65 inch Johnny Knoxville. Sorry, Craig's do I just turned my second. 65 inch good luck yeah and Craigslist says thanks fingers crossed well you know anything like this you buy it's possible you could get a defect but so anyway it's probably the last video i'm going to do on the tv i just well, i just appreciate your comments and uh, you know thanks for watching and we'll talk soon